Today in the U.S., we celebrate a very special holiday, Thanksgiving, which is giving thanks to abundance. That's why one of the main symbols of Thanksgiving is the cornucopia, or the horn of plenty. Unfortunately, nowadays, many of us find it very difficult to be thankful because we are so inundated with scarcity and lack, these messages and programs that are just coming at us from everywhere. So today I want to share with you a deep meditation to eliminate these messages, these programs of scarcity out of your mind. So through that you can see the abundance that's right in front of you right now. Abundance that you could be truly thankful for. So take a moment, get nice and quiet, set aside any distractions, and let's discover what abundance is all about. Releasing all your programs and beliefs about scarcity. Just release all that information and what you'll see will blow your mind. Because right now, just in our thinkingness, it has so many limitations imposed upon us, we can't see through these walls. And sometimes we can't fathom, you know, like the miracles that masters can produce. And even throughout history and all the religions, they talk about these miracles in the Bible. Jesus turning water to wine, multiplying fish and bread. That's a demonstration that there is no scarcity. And in that releasing video, I pointed out one of Lester's stories where he sat in front of a theater. It was directed to go inside for the show that you know, uh, had a lot of demand to go see. And while he was telling the story, he just pointed out, just kind of off the side of his breath, really, how there really is no scarcity. If the whole crowd of people outside of that theater wanted a seat, even though there's like 300 people outside and only 50 seats inside, everyone could have a seat. And that's hard for the, <laughs> for the mind to grasp. But that's why you have to release and go beyond the mind. You start to see these things. All right, so let's do a little releasing. Close your eyes. Get nice and relaxed. And what do you feel is scarce in your life right now? Money? Time? Energy? Like physical energy? You might notice that you probably have scarcity in a number of areas in your life. Scarcity of love and affection. Scarcity of peace. It's all the same scarcity. And it's just a feeling you have. A feeling of lack. So whatever it is that you see showing up that's scarce, just bring your attention to your stomach or chest and notice that lacking feeling, that empty feeling. There's a clutching, a grip in there. And wherever that is in your stomach or chest, just bring your attention right there Open up a door right in front of it so that energy can leave. It's like ripping the top off of a tissue box. 
So now the tissues are free to leave. And just let it leave. And more. And more. And more. And see if you're trying to figure out when the scarcity will end. In fact, there's a lot of scarcity going around nowadays. Can't go where you want, can't travel. The scarcity of open stores. Can't get all the products that you like all the time. The scarcity of physical contact with people, hugging. I just keep open. Keep letting that energy out. And you'll see the only scarcity is in you. Right now, it's just a feeling, just an energy. Let that energy leave. You might see a different picture. See, what Lester is really pointing to, we said that if all those people outside of that theater wanted a seat, every single one of them would have their butt in a seat. That's because it is each and every person's own picture. It gives that person exactly what they want. And that contributes to the whole harmony of things. But every single person has their own picture. We all think we're seeing the same thing, but we're not. In fact, you could be outside, standing right next to somebody, and you could have sunshine and they could have rain. So when you let go of your feelings of scarcity, you can change the rain to sunshine immediately. All right. So even if you feel like the scarcity is real now, it's a new normal. Well, just let go of that energy. Let go of your feelings about it. Just keep focused on your stomach or chest. Wherever that tension is, just open up. Let that energy go. And more. And more. And even more. And even more. It's just energy now. Right now in this moment. It's not good. It's not bad. Just energy passing through. Watch it pass through. And more. And even more. And notice that lighter feeling. That door open, you're letting that energy go. And look into that light feeling. Surrender to it. Just let that expand, that lightness. 
and let it expand some more. And is there any scarcity of the lightness? In fact, that lightness didn't just show up. It's always been there. You just had that gripping, clutching feeling that you're feeling on top of it. It was in the way. You've always had the lightness. And you see there's no end to it. So coming from the point of lightness, how could there be scarcity? Can you surrender to the lightness? And more. And more. And more. And surrender some more. And some more. And see if you're trying to figure out what scarcity is all about, where your abundance is. See if you're still trying to figure out how to have it. And look at what you're talking to. You're talking to the mechanism of scarcity, your mind. If you want proof, just look at what your mind gives you. gives you a bunch of garbage, a bunch of non-answers, a bunch of I can'ts. It's throwing up scarcity all around you. Telling you that you're no good, that you're limited, you're weak. You can't do it. Basically, that mind of yours all the time tells you to beat yourself up and see if you've been beating yourself up have you well if you're doing that gee I wonder where the scarcity is coming from now, how does it help you to beat yourself up doesn't now who's doing it? You are. Well, how's your decision? You could keep yourself in scarcity or take yourself out of it. What do you decide? Do you decide to be positive and love yourself? Or do you decide to be negative and beat yourself up? Could you let go? You're beating yourself up. A little bit. Just a little bit at a time. And could you let go beating yourself up a little bit more? And a little bit more. And could you let it go a little bit more? And a little bit more. And could you let it go a little bit more? And more. And more. How does that feel? Lighter? your confirmation. You're moving out of scarcity. You're moving in the right direction. There's nothing to figure out about that. Now you just know you're doing it. And since you're moving in the right direction, 
And love is a smart thing to do. It's a good idea. Could you give yourself some love and approval? And a little bit more. And a little bit more. And a little bit more. And could you give yourself some more love and approval? And more. And even more. And as long as you're loving yourself, what do you need to figure out? After all, see if it feels more like you have the answer anyway. You can let go of the scarcity. Let go of that picture. That that's possible now. Is it? See, that's a part of you that's in charge now, kicking in. Where you have the answers. In fact, the only answer is that it's... <laughs> It's been your decision all this time. So just step out of that whole picture. Let go of that thinking. Let go of your mind. Just get a picture of your whole mind right now. Whatever that means to you. And let that picture evaporate and dissolve right now, just in this moment. Don't worry if you're successful or if you fail at it or fail to hold on to it. Just in this moment, just get a picture of that mind. Let that picture evaporate and dissolve. And let it evaporate and dissolve even more. And even more. And even more. And get a picture of your body. Because that is such a huge mechanism of scarcity. Right? You got to keep satisfying that body. Got to keep putting oxygen in it. Got to keep putting food and water in it. Sleep. Or else it perishes very quickly. It takes your constant attention. What greater mechanism of scarcity could that be? It's got you running around, serving it, being a slave to that body. Now get a picture of your body whatever that looks like to you. Could you allow that picture to evaporate and dissolve? And more. And more. And more. And get a picture of your ego. Whatever that thing looks like to you. And let that picture evaporate and dissolve. And 
and more. And more. And more. And get in touch with that part of you that says, if I don't do it, it won't get done. I have to do everything. And I value myself on all the things I do. Could you allow that whole story, picture, to evaporate and dissolve? And more. And more. And even more. Now ask yourself, if I'm not my mind, if I'm not my body, if I'm not my ego, what am I? No right or wrong answer. Just take what you get. Just take whatever comes up and surrender to it. Surrender some more. If I'm not my mind, if I'm not my body, if I'm not my ego, who am I? Just surrender to that. Are you? Are you? Are you? Now, right from this silent part of you, surrender to the silence. Surrender to the nothingness. The big joke is, it is a nothing. The nothingness. Nothing is everything. Nothing is alive. Nothing is spontaneous. And out of nothingness, you get very spontaneous direction and answers. See, ask this quiet. Ask this nothingness. Quiet. Is there any such thing as scarcity? Just take what you get and ask the quiet, ask nothingness. Is there any such thing as failure? Just take what you get. And ask the nothingness, ask the quiet. Is there any th such thing as success? According to the quiet, just take what you get. And can you disappear in this place of nothingness and quiet?
Well, the false part of you disappears. You see, it was never true to begin with. But you are. Aren't you? You are. You are. And there is no such thing as scarcity coming from where you are. All right, so just stay open to that. Stay nice and quiet. The more you do this, the longer you can do it, the further you can go with it. The more you expand, so keep releasing and keep growing to you like this all the time. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. <laughs>